Hey, what's up guys, Dovin7 here with a commentary loosely about the Bastard Sword. So as you can see, I have invaded Propane, and uh, all these fights are pieced together how they went. I didn't cut anything out, and I'm uh, very happy with the turnout, actually. Um, he is a Katana guy, and this is actually my first fight with the Bastard Sword I've had so far in Dark Souls 2, and I roll bs him like a pro. Uh, so... Yeah, this is going to be my opinions on the uh, Bastard Sword, and as you can see I'm using my Pyromancies a lot because at this point I wasn't familiar with the Bastard Sword, and I was with my Pyromancies. This is my character is a quality Pyromancer build, I'll put the stats at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, so I was using my Pyromancies rather than my Bastard Sword, but as the video goes on I uh, start using less and less Pyromancies and more and more Bastard Sword amazingness. Um, and so you can see how how not smooth this fight is because it was my first one and um, it was a close one. I want to know how he's so tanky even though he's only wearing armor like that. Um, but and then uh, this fight was close because he was using a long sword which is super good for R1 spamming. Uh, makes the stun lock search just crazy. Uh, I really like the Bastard Sword, it reminds me a ton of the uh, if, of more of a Dark Souls 1 type of playstyle. The run and gun, running attacks are so good and it just reminds me a ton of Dark Souls 1 which brings back just a very good feeling because I don't know. I haven't I haven't supremely loved this game. I do like it a lot but Dark Souls 1 will always be the best in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so the Bastard Sword makes me feel like I'm playing Dark Souls 1 almost, and uh, I've I've been loving it, but I don't even know what to say. <laughs> it's going to happen a lot in the commentary probably, but so right there I hit him, and I figured right here, if I traded hits with him, I'd win no matter what, so I went in there, I went into the middle of his lightning, and I traded hits with him, and it worked out, um, and then this guy... <laughs> He, he just looks like a noob to me, I don't know, anybody that's wearing Drangleic reminds me of a noob because in the first couple of days of the game being out, like, everybody found the Drangleic set or they started off as a knight and had the falconer armor and it seemed like I just, that's the only thing you saw back in the day, so I associate the Drangleic set with noobs, even though it's actually really good, um, defense, I was used rocking it the other day and I, you give up almost into the 1000s in every stat. Uh, and so it is really good, but it just reminds me of noobs. And this guy, you can see he's going full fashion souls with his executioner top that Peeve showed him and um, the farmed Arus helmet. He might have given up after he got the uh, the helmet, I don't know why. I w if, if I got the chest piece, I'd give up and just be like, okay, I'm, I'm done. But I would never give up on just the helmet. Um, so I thought I was going to win this fight for sure. And then the almighty uh, Monastery Scimitar parry happened, and uh, Dagger switched, and I'm not dead, and I, I thought that I could definitely come back from this, because Bastard Sword running attacks are OP, um, and I got close. I'm actually, I'm not going to spoil it. Right there. I thought I was going to kill him for sure right there, but um, apparently not. And then, never do this. I do this a lot, but don't do it. I switched my dagger hoping to get the last hit in with like this little quick attack. I have no idea how that hit me and killed me, but whatever. Dark Souls 2. Um, and then he didn't want to be nice. So right here, he attacked me while I'm buffing, so I heal. Because, I mean, who wouldn't? And then uh, he hits me again right here. I don't heal because that wouldn't be fair because that was a good hit. But he's going to try to running attack spam and I just show him the power of bastard sword running attack spam over the uh, Macedon Halberd. It's just it's just so good. <laughs> I love that clip so much. Um, and I even you can hear my live commentary type of voice in there saying that clip was amazing. Cause I, and <laughs> this is probably the most successful gank ever. I don't, apparently they were doing the boss, but he still marked me. I don't know why. I guess it was some type of trophy, and his havels were all proud of him, and they went and killed the boss. Um, this guy, I, I don't even know how to explain fights like these. Like, they happen so often. Buffed, buffed longsword type weapons, and then... Like, I always get hit by emit force even though it's not hard to dodge, like, these are times of the fights I just face palm at my own stupidity. But, I did almost get him with this beautiful stun lock. He's so close, and 
I'm so afraid that he's casting um, Forbidden Sun when he's casting Combustion, but it's just Combustion. And then, see, I do it again. I switch my dagger, trying to get the last hit, and then I don't dodge this correctly, and I die. And that force is actually really good in this game. But, And then this guy, he tries to do his running attack with Sanier Spear, and Bastard Sword is just better. <laughs> I am glad I don't, we don't see the old sun ring that often anymore. Um, I got very tired of it when the game first came out when people would put that and the ring of thorns on. It was like, you're not even playing the game. You're just winning your fights through your rings. And then right there, I th almost got him with the trade, but in the end I died. Um, I think my favorite part about the bastard sword is the running attack into R1 spamming. And uh, that's probably the best part about it, for me at least. The rolling attack, the 200 rolling attack is super good as well. Um, this fight was fun. That started off the fight in a terrible, terrible way. But then I kind of bring it back. He tries to wog me and I wasn't having none of that. I am not a proponent of wog. And then uh, he comes back and he gives that and it was so beautiful. And this is actually the last clip. And I Hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, sub and whatever, or not, you probably didn't like the video, but I love you guys.